Hello my friends, it is Kendra and today we are going to be decluttering. Now, as you can see, I'm in my bathroom and we're going to be going through everything that is in each of these cabinets and all of those three drawers right there behind me. Why don't we take a look at what is all in here to begin with and then we're gonna start pulling things up. Okay. Whew. I'm like crawling around on the floor. I'm really sorry, um, it's really hard for me to see what is in frame and what isn't, um, but let's open her up here. So this is my side of the cabinets. It's not overly crowded, but there's not a ton of room down here, and I know I'm not using everything that's down here, so we're gonna need to pull some of this stuff out. Okay, and then I'm gonna open this side. It might be hard to see, um, but in there, that's my husband's side of the cabinet. And we just have more backup items and more like first aid and general like things you would find in a bathroom cabinet, I guess. I don't know. Um, and some heating pads over on the side. So that's what's down there. Okay, and here I will show you what is all in the drawers. They actually go back even, even deeper. Let's see, maybe if I pull this out. That was back there. And like that, the whole thing is back there. So yeah, there's a little more room than what you can actually see. This is really the drawer that I actually pretty much use uh, well, most things that are in here, but this can probably get just a little bit cleaned out as well. I don't know why I'm necessarily putting things back, but we're just going to take them all out. And I'm also going to be cleaning these drawers while they're all emptied because I can tell there's just hairs and just things. Things in there that need cleaned. This middle drawer is all my hair tools. So I have like my hair straightener, hair dryer, my um, waver tool, and then I also have like a shower cap and this little towel for my hair. So I have this nice mirror. Now this one has mostly all hair care and then that's my makeup bag. And then this is like extra hair care stuff I really don't even use a whole lot, so I might be getting rid of a bit from this drawer as well. So let's just start pulling everything out. Okay, well, here is an overview of everything that was in those bottom cabinets. Holy crap, I definitely feel like there's more here than I thought that there was. It's taking up most of, like, it's taking up half of my king size bed. <laughs> like, I do not need this many toiletries, and I know I don't use all of this. So, uh, what to do here? Let me turn you around to talk to you. <laughs> okay, well, this is actually a little bit overwhelming looking at it all in one pile. Um, and I know I'm absolutely not going to be boring you with going through every single thing and telling you why I'm decluttering or why I'm not decluttering it. Um, but I think what I'm going to do how to tackle things like this is I'm going to pull out first the things well firstly I'm gonna go back and clean those cabinets and drawers because if there's hairs in it some of the things have like weird crusty piles where like bottles have dripped 
I'm gonna clean out the cabinets and the drawers first. And then how I'm going to start is by picking out my favorites and or the things that I know for a fact that I use every single day. That's where I'm gonna start. Then after that, I think I'm gonna categorize everything, put like with like, see what I have, and just start either, um, I think I'm gonna do like a minimal mom method, just grab a black trash bag and a donate bin and a time will tell bin and we'll go to town. So I think I am, oh, this is just overwhelming. So I think it's time for a dab and we are gonna get a little bit high and we're gonna get our focus on and I'm gonna just time lapse through a lot of this uh, but I'll bring you along with me and I'll for sure let you know uh, what I get rid of in the end and the, the very end results. So let's do a dab and then we will jump into all of the sorting and decluttering. <laughs> As always, friends, please remember to check your local laws regarding cannabis. Remember that everyone has a different tolerance level, so do what is best for yourself and smoke responsibly. I am here with y'all on the floor and this is the aftermath of going through everything. This is actually really heavy. <laughs> um, and I did not have a black trash bag, so I used what I had, but oh my gosh. There is so much trash in there. I had way more expired products than I thought I did. And then there were also some things that were just like gross or used partially that I know I don't like, that I'm not gonna use again, that it's just time to let go of, or just some things that I'm just like giving myself permission to toss. Cause I know it's not donatable. It's no one else is gonna use it. Like it's just gross. It's time to throw it away because I know I'm not going to use it. So that was all that. <laughs> Then I have some things here in my donate bin. I have quite a few hair products that I'm getting rid of. I feel like these are things I can donate because they're like, you could sanitize these in a way so I feel like that's okay to donate, like claw clips and things like that. But yeah, random bag of hair things that I'm not gonna use. Um, this towel, I never use these anymore. Um, I used to use them all the time, but not any longer. And then um, this moisture meter, I never use this last swab thing. I don't even know what anyone would use this for. After I got it, like it seemed like a good idea at the time to not go through like a bunch of cotton swabs, but it doesn't work like a cotton swab does and I don't know who would use this for what. So I'm getting rid of it. Same with the moisture meter that I never use. And then I'm also getting rid of this essential oils uh, reference book because 
I got rid of pretty much my, all of my essential oils. I never use them hardly at all anymore. I kept the like two that I would use and um, see myself using. So I kept the two that I could see and I tossed the rest. So I know how I use them and you can find all this information online. It may not be as like nice and condensed and all in one nice spot, but someone else will love finding this at the thrift store. I do have one other thing in here, but that's from the kitchen. So not gonna talk about that here. I mean, it was supposed to be like a chicken grinder, like a hand, um, so you can shred chicken. Does not work like it, it sounds like it does. But those are all my donate items. And here is my time will tell. So I normally wouldn't have a clear bin for a time will tell, but this is what I had. So I have like this charging and like sanitizing thing for my power toothbrush. I've got, I rarely take baths, but we'll see if I go through the use Epsom salts. And then a lot of it is like backup products. Like these are, um, new unused toothbrushes, um, some humidifier filters, uh, just some random like new products that I'm not sure if I will use or not. Um, but yeah, that is that. Lid is on it. We will see if we want to pull anything out of there and if not, we're gonna get rid of it. I also forgot to mention there were these few items on my husband's side that I know we never use and I'm just gonna ask him if it's okay to get rid of. Some beard care things and like a body gel and a body oil. So yeah, that is everything that I'm like getting rid of and the trash. So let's go see what our bathroom cabinet is looking like now that we have decluttered it and reorganized. Okay, I know this might be just a tad bit shakier, uh, but I feel like you will be able to see better uh, if I just do it handheld rather than trying to, to use the tripod. So here is the fresh looking uh, underneath of my cabinet, definitely less full than it used to be. I just have a few bath bombs back there, my watering uh, can thing for my, my plants, some makeup remover, jewelry cleaner, mouthwash. This is my, um, I used to have that big container, but this is my new one, my backups, and just things I don't use all the time. Then this is a little, um, oh gosh. What do you call it? Ultrasonic cleaner for, um, I can put my glasses in there. I can put my retainers in there, all that kind of thing. And then these are my medicines and like essential oils and things that I use. And then let's just do this cabinet. Not a lot has changed over in this one. We still have the extra Kleenexes and the heating pads, the big ol' backup bottles of things. And then this is just a condensed version of all of our like first aid, um, like cough syrups, uh, sun lotion stuff, saline solution, cough drops, thermometer back there, all sorts of different things. And then my husband's backup like deodorant and uh, toothpaste and flossers and things. And then let's go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is just a mess down here. And that banging you hear is our glass shower door, which not my fave, but that's, that's another thing for another time. Let's go through the drawers. <laughs> So this top drawer, not a lot has changed. Again, these are the things I use all the time. So I didn't anticipate this changing a ton, but I did get rid of a couple things in there 
and I was able to squeeze my retainer case back there. Here is the middle drawer. Again, not much has changed, just the big hair tools, and I got rid of that other hair towel down there. Then this drawer is the one that has changed the most. So I still have like my brush and hair tools, makeup bag, but I have significantly less products and less just like hair accessories and things like that. So that is everything. So that is it for this declutter video. The sun is starting to peek it on me. So I am going to end this video here. I hope you have enjoyed all of this decluttering that I got rid of a lot more than I thought it was going to. So give this video a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I put out new videos every Tuesday morning Pacific Standard Time and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye!